Hi folks, you're very welcome to Ducats Grove in County Carlow. My name is Chris Van Twisk. And my name is Fergus Cooper. And, and I'm, I'm here, here to do a vlog. I'm here to do the vlog. No, I'm here to do the vlog. I'm here to do the vlog. I was here before you. Listen, um, Chris, you're a local here, you're Dutch. Um, can you tell us about Ducats Grove? Of course I can't, Fergus. Do you not know anything about Ducats Grove? Not a thing. I'm from Cork. <laughs> it's it's another country, People's Republic of Cork. Cork, Cork, it's all the same. No, it's not. 19th no. century it was built, in the 19th century. Very good. On um, 12,000 acres of land. So rich, before... Rich old, Dutch fellas, so yeah? Probably, yeah. Okay, William but, of Orange. William of Orange. But before this was all around here, this was a local... Uh, a, a landmark on 12,000 acres of land. That's a fantastic building, yeah. So, um, unfortunately in the 1930s it um, it burned down. Chip pan? Chip pan, Oh exactly. my god, they, they forgot about it. Yeah. They're and, probably uh, watching, they're probably on Netflix. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, they didn't bother um, building it back up, uh, so the inside is actually completely burnt out, but uh, they still have it as a local garden, so okay. uh, look, Welcome to Duckett's Grove. Beautiful yeah. day today. And the sun is out now, so we're going to get shooting because we haven't had sun for the last half an hour and there's a big black dirty cloud coming there. Let's so do it. So I'm going to do my vlog. Let's do it. Take care. Ducats Grove can be found five to six kilometers east of Carlow Town. Here on the map, it is just to the right hand side of the M9. To get to Ducats Grove, take the M9 and come off at junction four and take the Castle Dermot Road until you reach Castle Dermot. Upon entering the town, take the first right, the R418 for Tullow and Ducats Grove is to be found one kilometre down that road on the right hand side. Hey lads, welcome to Ducats Grove in Carlow in, uh, well, in the heartland of Ireland and as you can see we've got rapeseed on the field here. I've got Alan Mack here with me, okay? Alan's a good buddy of mine and calls me up regularly last year. We were up to get, uh, I think there was corn in the field, Alan, corn and we were year, able yes. to get lines running straight into the actual castle themselves. I'll put up those shots in a while. And uh, Alan lives locally, so he has all the local knowledge. It's looking well at the moment, Alan, isn't it's it? fantastic at the moment, yes. And we've the sun out now, so we shoot. Shoot away, yeah. <laughs> when, t tell me, um, you were here about a fortnight ago, you didn't think it was good? No, it's coming along nicely. I'd say another two days and it'll be perfect. Yeah. Okay. It just needs to fill out a bit more. Probably, I saw some fields probably a little bit better. It did, yeah. yeah. Um, the problem with rape, the, the rapeseed is that you, we can't go into it with our clothes because it'll actually destroy your clothes. So we're trying to stand here at the corner of the field. Last year we were able to get in without destroying the corn and you follow, let's say, some of the lines and get into the heart of the actual field itself. No, we can't because I even noticed here I've got a bit of yellow on this and um, it's hard to get out. We're, we're using these leading lines here, which are kind of drifting off to the left. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you're able to see those or not. Uh, and then taking in uh, the actual uh, Ducats Grove itself. Alan, you're using, what kind of a lens are you using? A 70 to 300. 
And what, it, what, what would you be shooting it at now normally? I would, well, normally F9, and, and um, you know, as I said, I usually photo stack. Maybe a third of the way in, half the way in, and the actual yeah, shot yeah, itself? I'd, I'd probably do three around the building. Would you? And then walk back. Okay, would you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh very good, well done. Jesus, let me take the one shot and I yeah. shoot about F11 or 12. <laughs> so you're shooting at F9, is it? F9 seems to be the sweet, sweet spot, yes. Okay. So as I said, it will work very fine. And, and uh, as I said, you know, it's nice light there at the moment, but it could be gone in a second. It's gone in a second, yeah, yeah there's yeah. plenty of clouds here uh, as we speak. I'm shooting there at about 150th of a second. I like what I'm seeing. I don't get any lead in lines, but what I'm doing is um, I'm at about F11. Uh, my focus point will be obviously duck it's, itself yeah, yeah. and and however whatever I get in focus I get in focus what are you actually shooting at are you at 150 uh, 70 whatever yeah I'm shooting around 70 you're shooting yeah, around 70 quite okay. tight yeah, yeah. yeah and is that bringing you in I'm just checking 70 here yeah that's nice actually nice, nice yeah. it gives it gives the actual duck it's grove a bit of space as well it does it does it's yeah important. it's important absolutely take, take it all in Super. Yeah. Trevor, do you want to come over here? We have Trevor Quinn here as well too. Hi, uh, Trevor has oh. been on, on several of my other vlogs, isn't that right? Especially Tullamore. Yeah. So we're, um, we're shooting this. Um, Trevor, what are you going to shoot it in, do you think? Um, I'd say probably F9. F9. Um, I don't know, I haven't really set up, so probably... Um, I'm on a 24 to 105 now, so... Yeah, likewise, yeah. yeah. 50. I say about 50 is yeah. probably just about right. Give it a bit of breathing space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably pull back out again just to get it. It's it's it, it, it's it's fantastic. We've got the clouds in the background, isn't Beautiful. it? Yeah, we love it at the moment. Super, yes. yeah, absolutely. And we've got a clear sky. Yep. Yep. Which is I've, um, I've come back another morning on my own um, since we were here with Alan, Trevor and Chris. Uh, it's about a month later. Um, I've been to Scotland since and, and back. Um, thanks very much to Alan for the tip off regarding the fact that um, the actual uh, um, flowers have, are so much denser now. Um, when I got home the last day, I took a look after I, I was on the way to Scotland when I dropped in here. And when I got home, I took a look at the shots. And, and to be honest though, to the eye, when I was standing here, it looked like there was an awful lot of yellow in the rapeseed. Uh, when I got home, there was an awful lot of green in it as well. Um, it's certainly much, much thicker. Um, I'm very fortunate that this morning, um, it's been a very, very beautiful morning. The sun is quite high at the moment, but I, that's what I wanted. I could easily have come here and got here just for sunrise, but I feel that, you know, um, rapeseed of all things really looks at its best probably about two or three hours after sunrise or before sunset. I've seen some sunset shots of Duckett's Grove. The one thing I would say, and, and the sunset shots were excellent, I must say, but the one thing I would say is this, I'm not that happy at the moment because the sun is over on, as we're looking at it, the right-hand side of Duckett's Grove. Um, it's, as I say, about maybe two or three hours after sunrise. And to be honest, it's a little better now, but earlier um, there was quite a shadow, and you'll see that in some of the shots that I've taken. There's, there was quite a shadow across the actual um, um, castle or building itself, which is not something that's ideal. Maybe in two or three hours' time they'll be better. I don't want it full on. Uh, I don't want the sun full on. It's nice to have some shadows, but not to have a completely in shadow. 
uh, because it gives this kind of um, differentiation. It gives a kind of uh, a contrast, to be perfectly honest. So anyway, I've, I, I've shot it back here in the same area where we uh, were earlier. Um, I've used a drone this time. Thankfully, there's an awful lot less wind and it's nicer. And I've used the actual lines that the tractors have created. Likewise, I've used the lines of the road. And I've been fortunate enough to get one or two people walking along those roads to give kind of perspective as well. Now, I tend to go further over. There are about three or four uh, rapeseed fields here and um, I intend to go further over and uh, take some more shots. I prefer this particular field and I prefer uh, the actual lines of the actual uh, of the that were created as we said by that tractor. Uh, I prefer those as leading lines than anything else. Um, they're not as defined at the moment because the rapeseed is so thick but it's beautiful in colour. Right, I've come across maybe about three or four hundred meters to the end of the next uh, rapeseed field, and this is an absolutely enormous field. Um, there's a diagonal across at the other corner of it. You can see obviously Duckett's Grove. Um, normally, if you walk down this particular track way um, and go down just to where the field begins to dip, you can get a shot using the actual um, lines that the tractor has made across at Duckett's Grove. It gives it another dynamic. Now, I was afraid that the, the sun would be the issue, but the sun is after rising quite high now, and it's not really the main problem. Uh, the main problem is trying to get down there because uh, the, um, the track has, is basically closed in. Uh, and I'm going to destroy clothes if I start pushing through the rapeseed uh, down there and also I'll start destroying some of the rapeseed. So I'm not going to go that far down. I have taken some shots of it. I've taken um, mainly um, a, a double exposure, exposed for the actual castle uh, or the actual Duckett's Grove. don't know why I said castle, it just looks like a castle. Duckett's Grove and uh, exposed also for the... Um, the, the rapeseed in front and then put the two of them together. Uh, I was trying it maybe even up as far as F16 and it just wasn't getting um, the, the rapeseed in front of me in, in, in decent um, um, focus and getting the actual uh, Duckett's Grove itself in focus. Okay, I'm going to show you some shots now from last year when Alan and myself were up here and um, it was corn that they had growing and once again beautifully a uh, day and the lines that the, the tractors made, great leading lines and lovely colour in the corn. Very happy with how last year's shots went. God knows what they'll have next year. Anyway, enjoy these photographs.
Okay, if you come to Duckett's Grove, make sure you bring your um, your tripod and your macro lens as well. Um, I'm in the walled gardens here. You're seeing part of half of the walled garden. This is quite an enormous garden. Lots of flowers planted here. They haven't, um, well, they haven't bloomed yet. There, we've got a few down at the far side there, down by the door. Um, they keep it so well, they've yet to trim the hedges. Um, I was here last July, it was absolutely smashing. I got lots of different flowers, different variety of plants, loads of colour, and on top of that too, lots of insects. Things like bees, um, butterflies, bumblebees, etc. So that was just a little variation. There are two wall gardens. There's one obviously here and the one next door. Duckett's Grove itself is to your um, left hand side. Um, lots of tr cherry trees here, though they don't seem to be blossoming as well as some of the ones that I've seen elsewhere, but they give them two or three weeks. So I'd say middle to late May and they'll be spot on. So just another dimension to this beautiful place. Well, once again, thank you very much for joining me here at Duckett's Grove. It's a beautiful spot. It really starts to blossom in around April and May each year. I have been here other times. It just doesn't look the same at all. Thank you very much for joining me. Really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please give me a like. It certainly helps develop the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, well, why not subscribe and join me on more of my adventures, be it here in Ireland or abroad. Talk to you soon. Take care.